Welcome back to Proof of Work Coin News. This is your host, Coinology. If you have a moment, please go ahead and subscribe. We're almost at 400 subscribers. This is meant to be a proof of work space where we talk about proof of work coins and miners. Drop your comments down below. Today I don't have a whole lot of time, so I'm just going to be going through profitability as well as what's going on in the market. Let's go check it out. So currently we have BTC moving sideways. Uh, we do have some upwards momentum from some of our coins. Uh, we have Doge moving up almost 3%. We have Caspa moving up 5%. We also have Firo moving up 3%. And Zen Token moving up 2.7%. On the other side of things, we have Komodo moving down 2%. Jumping over to GPUs, we currently have the 4090 in the lead at a 10 cent kilowatt hour. Uh, SkyDogeNet is doing a dollar five cents revenue, 64 cents profit. SkyDogeNet is uh, one of the better coins for most of the 40 series, but we do have a new contender. Kiro coin is most profitable on a couple of the uh, higher model 30 series GPUs. So 3090 is currently doing a dollar 18 revenue and 35 cents after power. CMP 90HX is doing 89 cents revenue and 29 cents after power on Kiro. Okay, so we have some coins pumping. Currently right now your profitability dries up at about 14 cents. Moving over to uh, CPU mineable coins, we have the AMD Epic 7742 most profitable on Zephyr coin doing 257 a day and 203 after power. We definitely have some profitability on the chart for CPUs currently. Yeah, most CPUs are profitable today, so if you are a CPU miner, you should be turned on. Moving over to like hashrate.no actually uh, went ahead and put Osprey E300 on the chart, which is awesome. Uh, so currently uh, in the lead, obviously, the Osprey E300, which is actually, uh, I believe it's three FPGA boards. Is doing 419 a day, 247 after profit on Caspa, uh, with the worst FPGA being the Squirrel Forest Kitten 33, uh, doing 51 cents after revenue, 22 cents after profit, and that's even on 15 cent kilowatt hour. Let's check 10. Yeah, a little bit more profitability, obviously. Okay, moving over to ASICs. I haven't really used hashrate.no for ASICs, but let's take a look. So currently at a 10 cent kilowatt hour, we have the Bitmain Antminer KS3 doing $2,236 a day. After profit, $2,228. KS3L comes in right after that one. KS2, KS1, KS0 obviously. The Jazzminer X16-P on Octaspace doing $23.64, $19.08 after profit. The Antminer L7 on Script Mining doing $18.77 a day, $10.55 after profit. The S19XP on Bitcoin doing $9.92 in revenue, $2.65 a day after profit. We have the Antminer E9 Pro doing 7.86 a day on Ethereum Fair uh, and 2.44 after profit. <clears throat> Let's 
Let's have the Antminer K7 on CKB doing 499 a day. We have the Antminer D9 on Dash doing 480 a day. And finally, we have the Antminer KA3 uh, doing 336 a day on Kadena. Thanks for sticking around, guys. I'm sorry it was a shorter one. I'm in a little bit of a rush this morning. Uh, this is a proof of work mining uh, show where we talk about proof of work uh, miners, proof of work coins. Um, if you have any questions about that, if you have a topic you want me to talk about, drop it down in the in the comments, um, and we will see you tomorrow.